Hey guys, the biggest asshole in the Assassin's Creed community here today, and welcome back to another video about Assassin's Creed Empire. So today, we're back with some more Empire speculation. Now, yesterday, I did an Assassin's Creed 1 stream, it was fucking great. I always start these videos off talking about a recent stream that I have done. <laughs> I, I have no idea why, but um, yeah, so we're doing a video on speculation, Assassin's Creed Empire, and today I'm just going to give... My, my opinions on the on Assassin's Creed Empire as a whole, so it's not really kind of dedicated to one topic, it's kind of just going to be me talking off my head about Assassin's Creed Empire, and just what I think of it as a whole, and stuff like that, because so this is something that I was meaning to do, so this is actually going to be a chill commentary, because the last video ended up being a full edited video, whereas I, w I was meaning for it to be quite a chill commentary, but it ended up being, yeah, edited, and and it took me about three hours to edit. So today I'm going to be doing a chill commentary about my thoughts on Assassin's Creed Empire as a whole. So let's get right fucking into this. So you guys all know the hype that's already behind Empire. I'm certainly fucking hyped for it. I know a lot of you guys are hyped for it as well. So it's, it's already held in such high regard but, like by the community. And it's not even a game that's been announced yet, so that, that kind of shows the hype behind this game. Now, I personally think that Assassin's Creed Empire is going to live up to its hype. Because I think it will bring the series back, because Ubisoft have loads of things coming out. So they've got the Assassin's Creed movie, and they've got For Honor, they've got Watch Dogs 2. Now these three things are going to bring in a lot of money, especially the Assassin's Creed movie. So they're not going to be caring as much about money when they release Assassin's Creed Empire, they're going to be thinking about what the fans want and what they should include in the game to make it perfect for the people that love the series. Because in, in the other Assassin's Creed games, they were kind of catering to an audience that would bring in the most money, but with all this new stuff coming out recently, like Watch Dogs 2 and the movie and For Honor, they're going to be getting lots of money from those games and that movie. And they're not going to care so much about the amount of money and profit they get from the next Assassin's Creed game because they can lean on the other things. So they're going to focus more on what we want and what the hardcore fans want from the series, which means that we're just going to get a good game overall. And I don't think that it's going to be overhyped or anything. I think it will live up to the hype and it will bring back the series that I love and hold close to my heart because recently it's been declining and I think Empire is going to just bring the whole Assassin's Creed series back up because Ubisoft want it to be as good as it can possibly be. Another reason why I think it will completely revive the series is the leaks. So if these leaks are true that we've gone for the game, they suggest that this game is fucking amazing. Like the exploration and the fact that it's set in ancient Egypt with the desert areas and the lush vegetation areas and stuff like that. It like it creates this image in your mind of just an insanely fucking good game. Well, it does for me anyway. Like, as soon as I heard that it could possibly be set in ancient Egypt, I thought, oh my fucking god, that is so fucking cool. Like, the first leaks of Empire were just, they got me so hyped instantly. And now I'm sold on it being set in ancient Egypt because of reasons that I've stated in other videos. I'm completely sold on the game being set in ancient Egypt 100% I'm just I'm just so convinced I'm so convinced because there, there, there's been so much hype built around being set in ancient Egypt and if Ubisoft hadn't dispelled this then why should we think that it's fake because they would have all this hype building around the game and then if it suddenly turns to it being oh it's not an ancient Egypt people will be like people will get fucking mad because I know there will be some people that get mad at Ubisoft and they will use they will lose so much sales and stuff like that. And just like not many people will want to buy their future games. So the amount of hype building around it being, being set in ancient Egypt and the fact that Ubisoft haven't dispelled this hype and just said, yeah, no, it's not set in ancient Egypt at all, kind of leads me to believe that it's in Egypt and that Ubisoft are just kind of like watching as everyone speculates and is hyping about their game. Because they know it's set in Egypt. I am I am so sure, so sure that it's in Egypt, guys. I am just I'm 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 so fucking certain. And the leaks and everything, they just make 
the game sounds so good, and if these leaks are true, then Assassin's Creed Empire will definitely revive the series that we all love, which is what it's been needing recently, because Syndicate and Unity, and just the recent games in general, they haven't been absolutely amazing. They haven't been astounding. Like, Assassin's Creed 4 was brilliant. I loved Assassin's Creed 4. That's probably the last amazing game from the series. But apart from that, the games haven't been as just completely incomprehensibly amazing as the other games were, like the Ezio trilogy or even Assassin's Creed 1 when it came out. I think Assassin's Creed Empire is just going to be so fucking good, and it's going to bring that, like insanely good factor back to the series. Empire will also be a breath of fresh air into the series because recently the games have been set in like Europe and like 1700s America and stuff like that so that, that gets boring after a while it gets extremely extremely boring in that time period and in those settings because they're very normal and very brown and just kind of dull Although I liked Assassin's Creed um, 4, I liked Rogue, I did quite like Syndicate, although it's not amazing. It's just the settings weren't what they used to be, like exotic, cool settings that were like strange. Like they, they were they were like different to me because I live in, obviously I live in England and yeah, it's good to see other places in the world. So the fact that it could possibly be set in Egypt brings that sense of like exoticness back to it so it's like we're in a different country it's not a boring same old same old western country or like just a, a normal like i don't want to i don't want to say a normal country i just want to say a boring country it's like it's set in africa it's set in egypt so it's like oh my god this is so fucking cool because it's different we get actually get to see new surroundings and stuff like that so it'll be a breath of fresh air to step away from Europe and America and go somewhere entirely different it'll be really interesting to see that also it'll be nice to see a variation on the unity and syndicate engine because obviously it's been about two games since the last update of the engine they're gonna have to well not renew the engine a as a whole and make a completely new one but they're gonna have to tweak it a bit and do some more changes so it'll be nice to see an updated version of the unity and syndicate engine in a new game and it'll just be completely beautiful and it'll probably play a lot better and a lot smoother because they've had time to fix it and they've got the feedback from unity and syndicate so seeing a new engine it'll probably play a lot better and will feel feel a lot better to play and yeah, a, a, a slightly tweaked engine will just add that little bit more edge to the game, I guess. It'll just make it play better and be more responsive, which is what you want with the game, obviously, because as we all know, Unity was very kind of like glitchy, it was kind of stuttery, and the parkour and stuff like that. And then Syndicate was just kind of like, it was kind of the same, like it had the same animations and everything like that, and it was just kind of static at some point. So to see maybe a slightly updated parkour system where it all flows a lot better would be a lot nicer, because what I've noticed with games is, um, it's not the actual animations that matter, it's the transitions between the animations. I think, I don't know who said that, I don't know who said that, but I remember hearing that, and I was like, yeah, that, that makes perfect sense, because... With games like Prince of Persia, the actual animations aren't that good, but it's got incredibly smooth transitions between animations when like wall running or doing parkour or something like that. So if Ubisoft were to focus more on the transitions between each like parkour animation, then it would look like it flowed a lot better. Because that was Unity's problem, it was very static and there was like a time where Arno would just sit there before each animation and it would it just made everything flow a lot less, so I'd like to see the parkour flowing more, I'd like to see, you know, things like the combat and the stealth just being revamped in this new engine. So it will be nice to see an updated version of the Anvil Next engine. It's Unity, and I'm pretty sure Unity and Syndicate used Anvil Next. So to see a kind of updated version of this engine will be very nice in Assassin's Creed Empire, and I think that's what they're gonna do. So, 
yeah, that's another reason why the game will be fucking amazing. Lastly, but certainly not least, is that they've had an extra year to make the game without having any other production kind of piling on top of it. It's just been their sole purpose has been Assassin's Creed Empire. Now, this is a piece of information, obviously, that we got back in January. It was one of the first leaks we got, and it turned out to be true. So there's no Assassin's Creed game this year, but next year there will be. Um, but yeah, the extra year actually helps so much in development, especially when they're not developing another Assassin's Creed game on top of that. People seem to think, oh, but they don't make the games in a year, but like, the yearly releases mean that they make the games, they make the games on top of one another, so they have one studio working on one, and then they're working on another one at the same time, but this extra year makes it so their sole purpose will be Assassin's Creed Empire, so it can be as good as it can possibly be. That's why the extra year helps so much, it's not because, oh they make the game in a year, it's because of the fact that it will be their sole purpose. So this extra year will increase the games, like, just quality so much which is why the rest of this speculation is very possible because they have the extra year to just work solidly on the game and we look at Assassin's Creed Brotherhood that game was made in about nine months that game was literally made in about nine fucking months it's one of the best in the series the fact they have all this time making it on top of other Assassin's Creed games and then a whole year of them just focusing on it means that Assassin's Creed Empire could be so fucking amazing, especially considering Brotherhood was made in nine months and they had all this time to do it, so the extra year really does help, and that's another reason why Assassin's Creed Empire could be one of the fucking best in the series. It could be one of the best in the series, which I really hope it lives up to the hype. I really, really think it fucking will. I think Empire will definitely live up to the hype, and we will enjoy the game so much when it comes out. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. These were my reasons for why I think Empire is going to be amazing, and just my like opinions on Empire as a whole. Um, I really think Empire is going to be a fucking great game. I hope you guys share my opinion. I know there's a lot of people that are incredibly cynical out there and think that, that they, they have the right to be cynical about the next Assassin's Creed game, because the recent ones, they haven't been like astounding, they haven't been amazing, they've been good, they've been quite fun, they've been amazing upon release, but then after further inspection, not the best games you ever played, but I'm getting behind the hype train of Empire being really good, and these this video just shows my reasons for it, and it shows my opinions on Empire and stuff like that, so... Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to comment down in the comment section below your opinions on Assassin's Creed Empire and what you think it's going to be like. And also remember to drop a like and subscribe for more Assassin's Creed content in the future because obviously my channel is based around Assassin's Creed so there will be so much more Assassin's Creed content in the future for you guys to enjoy. So keep updated on my channel for more Empire news and speculation. And I will see you guys in the next one. Oh, also, before I go, I want to thank everyone for their support recently. I'm almost on 2,500 subscribers. I'm on 2,320 as of recording this. And it's just fucking awesome. It's awesome because my goal for the end of summer was 2,000 and we've completely fucking smashed that. Like, we have smashed my goal. So, I really want to be able to get 2,500 by the end of summer, but I only have a week left of summer. So, we'll see how it plays out. But I want to thank everyone for their support. It's been fucking amazing. So thank you guys so much. And I'll see you guys in the next Assassin's Creed video. I love you guys. Bye.